Fly fishing has a lot of best guessing and projection of what should be. We're often given clues as subtle as sledgehammers. This was one of those instances. Nothing rising, nothing showing. We opted to mid-depth nymph in hopes of picking rainbows out of this choppy trough. What we got was a re-education of the absolute truth that you just can't argue with fish. So this is just the perfect water. Um, basically what you've got is you've got a nice little riffle coming in, going right along these rocks. It starts with a bit of a white water, and then it comes right into this trough and this bucket. And all the way through this trough can be holding fish. They're gonna nose right in to those rocks and follow any piece of food that's coming through. So as we come towards the head here, um, I'm just gonna pause and I'm gonna place. There's no need to throw, uh, even with an indicator and a couple of dunks. Oh, on the indicator gang. You know what? Okay. Give me your dry fly rod. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I really think, uh, I think that's a good you know, time to do that. Uh, after it only has to happen twice, you know. Okay, so while we're trying to share with you how to nymph this trough, I had two eats on my indicator. So we decided, you know what? Now might be a good time just to prospect with a dry fly. So I've got. Uh, basically a polywing stimulator with legs and I'm just going to work again the edges of the softer water along the edge here and there he is. <laughs> so who didn't see that guy? Yeah. You know we, we had the sign so make the adjustment. <laughs> so you know when you get two indicator eats sometimes you might want to take your other rod your wife's rod and say hey you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try to catch one on the dry fly. And, and sometimes it works. That's crazy, isn't it? It's just that these fish are looking for stoneflies on the surface, and sometimes they think that orange indicators are <laughs> stoneflies. So when you see that and you have a fish eat your indicator a couple times, dry fly.